You've all heard of GitHub stars. I mean, you want to get a star on your project and you start other projects so you can follow them in your feed and see what's going on. But there's something exciting and new that has come out. Look behind me, look at the stars and forks. What do you notice that's different? Well, there are stars and there are forks and they are the other way around. This is a beta feature that I have access to as a GitHub star, but should be coming out any day now. And by the time you're watching this video, it's probably out already. But what you will notice is next to stars, there is a drop down. Oh, and look, there is separate lists for your stars. So not only are you now just starring a project, you can group them. So I've created two groups. I've created interested, keep watching. Let's uh, create a new one. So let's create a new list. What can we call this one? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. What, what other lists would you have? So interested in ones I want to follow. Keep watching is ones I want to kind of check in from time to time, see how they're doing. Let me see must share or something, must share. And then what could the icon be for must share? Uh, I don't know, we'll add one later on. Projects to share. Okay, so let's create that. So now we have a separate list. And so now we've started it and it's added it to that list. So now we can go to view lists and you'll see underneath, if I scroll down, this is what you probably see. You can search your star repositories, you've got type, languages, all those awesome stuff. But above that, I now have the list that I had created before and the list that I just created with you now. So you can see that must share has one repository and keep watching has one repository. So let me click on the keep watching. And now it's showing me the projects that I've starred in that section. So let's bring up another project. So let's go to GitHub, EddieHub, and we'll go to the event calendar. So I can star it and put it under interested. And so if I go back to my previous one and interested now has, should I have two? Did I put it in the wrong place? Let me check. Event calendar, oh, it, had, it must have had zero. Let me do another test to prove to you that I haven't broken it. Let's see, so if we go to Eddie Hub and we have the support repo, let's have a look, we have that bot repo. So if I go to the bot repo and I mark it as keep watching, and then if I go back to this list, keep watching has one, so if I refresh this page, it should have two. I'll keep watching now has jumped to the top. Okay, brilliant. So it actually keeps the most active ones at the top, which is really nice. And now you can see you've got Eddie Bot and uh, Hannah's new profile that I put in there as well. So that is really awesome. It's a great way to manage the projects that you star. And you can obviously edit the list, add a description, delete the list, save list. Of course, if you make changes to it, you will want to save it. So what will you do with your stars list? How will you use it? How will you separate and manage your content? I think it's going to be great, an interesting game changer, because our lists can get really long. Just have one stars list. It can be hundreds, if not thousands. And you're trying to find one that you go, I know I've starred, I can't find it, where is it? Whereas if we can break it into different categories, I think it's super useful and interesting. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe below, and hit the bell button so you get notified every time I post a video and go live. And I'll chat to you in our Discord between videos and live streams. You guessed it, link in the description below.